Hello my Cancerians, this'll be your reading for February of 2024. How are all my Cancer folks doing? So if you are looking for a love reading, I highly recommend checking out your Venus sign for this. Um, you don't normally have to know your birth time to find out your Venus sign. There's tons of calculators for it online everywhere. If you don't want to use your Venus sign, just go ahead and use your sun. But in love readings, it's a good idea to check your Venus sign. Um, check your sun, moon, rising, and or Venus. And take what resonates and leave the rest. So we had a card that flew right out of the deck here. So we've got the Four of Pentacles that flew right out of, the, out of the deck right away for your energy. So this is more of a love reading between you and another person, if that's what you have going on. So we've got the, okay, so we've got the Four of Coins in your energy, the Three of Coins in the reverse in their energy, and between the two of you, we've got the Ten of Coins in the reverse. So I think that you've decided to pull back your energy because they're not getting on the same page with you right now and they haven't been collaborating the way that they were hoping to. Um, you may be dealing with a financial situation and both be going through a rough time together and being each other's support. For some of you, uh, with that ten of coins in the reverse, um, be careful if you suspect that this person is greedy or like you're picking up all the, carrying all the weight financially and they're not making the effort to meet you halfway or do what you agreed upon. You know, this could be a sign that you might be right if that's what your gut was telling you. And this is kind of a past situation. This is the past positions here. This could be talking about a person in your past. In the present moment here, so we've got the Ace of Swords in your energy, the Three of Wands in their energy, and then the Knight of Swords in between the two of you. So whatever the case that's been going on that you've been having difficulties getting on the same page with them, with that Ace of Swords and their Three of Wands, they've been waiting to have a conversation with you. Uh, maybe they just couldn't think of how to bring it up. They couldn't find the right words. You definitely are looking forward to new beginnings on putting this all on the table, communicating, because I feel like you both care about each other and you want this to work. It's just frustrating and hard to figure out, well, what kind of solutions can we come up with? And the Knight of Swords in between both of your energies, that talks about the start and the green light to go ahead with communication. Again, verifying, communicating, communication coming through. Um, so I think you both want to work on this and you both want to talk about this, which is good. You know, like if both people are willing to talk, that's where it all starts. The willingness to have a discussion. So in your energy, we've got the Death card in the reverse, Nine of Wands in their energy, and then between the two of you, we've got the Page of Coins in the reverse, so... Hmm, you're both being stubborn. With the Death card in the reverse, you don't want to change, and with them having the Nine of Wands in the upright, that talks about they're defensive, they're standing their ground. It's almost like you both want to communicate, but then once you're communicating, it's hard to come to an agreement because both of you are, like, set in your ways about this. And especially with that page of coins in the reverse, that talks about slowdowns financially and also slow-moving energy. It could even talk about uh, somebody's financially immature. Could be both of you. Um, maybe it's them, you know, like... You can't just act like... He Nobody can sit there in a reading and act like they're perfect and their person is the bad one. Like, everybody's got their good and bad sides. And if you know that there's something about yourself that you need to work on, that's your own business. And, you know, the first part of fixing it is recognizing that there's growth that you would like to see in yourself. 
we all we all do it, you know. Like, look at where you were five years ago and where you are today. You've grown, haven't you? And over the next five years, you're going to grow again and grow some more. And I just heard somebody laughing. It was probably you saying, Yeah, well, this person needs to grow a pair. <laughs> I don't know who that is that you're talking about, but... Let's see what else do we have here. Okay, so two of coins in the reverse. You're burned out. They've got knight of wands in the reverse, even though normally this card talks about player energy. I think it's talking about uh, impulsive thinking. I know exact, dude. I'm, I would be willing to put money on it. How much do you want to bet? So you're burnt out because they're being reckless in some way. And then between the two of you, we've got the Three of Cups in the reverse. This doesn't have to be for all of you, but I feel like they drink and or they party too much. They indulge in something. Could be shopping, could even be drugs. I hope not, but you know, it does happen. You're frustrated with them being irresponsible and maybe pissing too much of their money away on like, too much alcohol. There's nothing wrong with, you know, drinking and, you know, whatever, but if it's becoming a problem and interfering with, you know, whatever you've got going on in your life, well, then it's an issue. That's up to you how you want to deal with that, but that's what I'm getting. Um, let's see, what, what future actions is Cancer's person gonna take? Especially regarding this situation, if that's what you've got going on. We've got the Empress in the reverse. With the Strength card in the reverse. And we've got the Queen of Wands. I like that the Queen of Wands, that it ended with the Queen of Wands. So Empress in reverse talks about uh, manipulation, possibly controlling behavior. Like maybe they don't want to own up and they're being manipulative and, you know, trying to maybe make excuses somehow. With the strength card, and oh, they're stubborn as shit, aren't they? Aren't they, Cancer? Is your person stubborn as shit? <laughs> so I do think... I mean, that's up to you how much of a chance you want to give it. Use your intuition. You know, and with future actions, I do see that we've got the Queen of Wands. So maybe in spite of all of this, maybe they will look at something from another perspective and come out in the end being powerful and overcoming these things. And that's up to you what kind of limit you want to put on it and you know, what boundaries you want to set, if that's what you've got going on. Let's see if there's any other messages. What What's the outcome for my Cancers? And the month of June popped into my head for some reason. I don't know if that has anything to do with anything. If you are a Cancer, I mean, your birthday could be in June or July. But besides that, I got June in my head. So we've got the Four of Swords along with the King of Coins in the reverse. So... I kind of feel like some of you need to, like, hibernate and take a break and allow yourselves to rest. Maybe you've been cranking it out over time to, like, make up for where this person is lacking. And you shouldn't have to do that to yourself, you know? But it's like, you don't need their permission to give yourself a break and chill and hibernate. They can freaking put on their big boy or big girl panties and, you know, contribute meet you halfway. Like, they can't force you to get up and, well, I mean, if you're sharing bills and sharing responsibilities and they're not meeting you halfway, sometimes you're forced to have to make up the rest. So I hope that you're giving yourselves time to relax and rejuvenate here. With that king of coins in the reverse, though, hmm... So we've got the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. That talks about uh, 
having a tough time closing out a karmic cycle. We've got the Temperance card in the upright. Some of you could be dealing with someone with Sagittarius placements. Yeah, I think that there's definitely a need for balance here, especially with that Temperance card. There's definitely a need for balance, and I feel like something's very imbalanced between the two of you. And I'm getting finances for some reason. So, from an emotional standpoint, what is this person's feelings for my cancers? Because obviously it looks like financially, you know, they're not meeting you halfway, but do they at least, you know, have a good heart and, you know, have good intentions? I want to know that. Because if they don't, well, there's not worth it to be with them then. <clears throat> So we've got the Nine of Pentacles in the Upright that talks about financial independence. Along with the Seven of Coins. And we've got the Nine of Swords in the Reverse. And Judgment in the Reverse. So I do think that... It may possibly be worth your time if you're able to work this out with them. I do think that they have emotions for you and they do have feelings, but maybe they were maybe they didn't learn how to be financially independent, which isn't necessarily their fault, but it is their responsibility as an adult to try to learn, you know, if they're willing to put in the effort and they learn and there's hope, great. If not, you know, know your worth, Cancer. I don't know if that's you. Um, if it doesn't resonate, you know, check your sun, moon, or rising, or Venus, if that makes any sense. Well, I... <coughs> oh, excuse me. I hope you have a great rest of your month of February and enjoy your night and enjoy the Leo full moon energy that was uh, January 25th. Well, thank you so much for watching, Leo. I mean... Cancer, you could be dealing with a Leo. <laughs> All right, Cancer, have a good rest of your night.